start with a new subtopic and that subtopic's name is conversion of decimals into fractions and vice versa. So let's start. First, we will learn about conversion of decimal into fractions. Here we have a decimal 0 0.25. We will first can put and we put 0 0.25, make it 0 0.25 by 1, which is make, which makes 0 0.25 which is a decimal into a fraction this is this is only a one step progress but if you want to convert it to a real fraction which is like one by four one by two then we need to uh, first uh, convert it into a fraction like this we need to multiply it by 100 or whatever number the decimal is like if it is 0 0.001 then we need to multiply by 1000 so that it becomes a whole number and then after multiplying 0.25 into 100 we get 25 and when we multiply 100 by 1 we get 100 so 25 by 100 we will divide it by 25 and then we get 1 by 4 so this is the easiest way to convert a decimal into a fraction now while converting a decimal into a decimal fraction we have to write the decimal part as a numerator. The denominator becomes a multiple of 10 with the same number of zeros as the same number of decimal places in a decimal number. For example, 1.12 is a decimal. We will convert it to 112 by 100. 115.4 is equal to 154 by 10. 0 0.175, 175 by 1000. Now let's do conversion of fractions into decimals. First, we'll have the case one. So, when the denominator is multiple of 10, that's case one. To write the decimal form, form for a uh, decimal fraction, we have to follow these steps. First step is to write the numerator in the decimal form. Second is to move the decimal point to the left as many places as there are zeros in a denominator. If there are not enough digits in the numerator, add zeros to the left of the numerator. For example, we have 6 by 10. So we'll put, make it 6.0 by 10 and we'll make the 0 to the left of 6 and make it 0, 6.0 by 10 which is equal to 0 0.6. Now we can see, do the same thing again for 8 by 100. 8 by 100 is equal to 8.0 and then we'll get it 0, 0, 0.8.0 which is equal to 0, 0.08. Now 15 by 1000. We'll get, we'll get 15.0 by 1000 then 0015.50 0, 0, out of 1000 and then that is equal to 0, 0, 0.05 the case 2 is when a denominator can be converted into a multiple of 10 so to convert a fraction into a decimal we have to first convert the fraction into an equivalent fraction with denominator as 10 or a multiple of 10 for example 4 by 5 is equal to 4 by 5 into 2 by 2 is equal to 8 by 10, which is equal to 2 by 10. 3 by 4 into, we will multiply by 25 by 25 to make it under multiple of 10, which is 25 by 100, which will give 0 0.75. Now 5 by 8, we will multiply it by 125, so we get a multiple, we get multiple of 10, which is 1000. So we we'll get, after multiplying, we we'll get 625 by 1000, which is 0 0.625 as decimal. Now we'll learn about the uh, conversion of fractions to decimals again, but this is the long division method. So the case study is the long division method, of course. Yeah. Now we have, if we have 8 as the divisor and 3.000 as the dividend, we get 0.375. And then first we will sub, uh, we'll put the, uh, the point as you cannot divide, uh, subtract or divide 3 from 8 as it, 8 is a greater number. We point, put point we, or you can just put 0 point and then 20. Now take the next number 30. So 8 divided by 30 we get take 3 which is 24 and then 6 will be the denominator, new remainder. Then we put the next 0. 60 and then we put a 56 
as 8 into 7 is equal to 56. Put a 7 on the top as a question in the question. We get 4 as the remainder. The last 0 we put in on the top again in the bottom. And then 8 into 5 is equal to 40. And we have the 40. So we minus 40 minus 40 is equal to 0. So 3 by 8 is equal to 0 0.375. Our answer was 0 0.375 and we got 3 by 8 as a fraction. So 3 was a dividend and 8 was a divisor. So the dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. 3 is equal to 8 into 0 0.375 plus 0 which is equal to 3. So what did we learn today? We learned the conversion of decimals into fractions, conversion of fractions into decimals, and we learned about many ways using the logarithmic method. So if you like the video, please like, share, subscribe, and hit on the notification bell. We have more notifications like this. And have a nice day.